Hi everybody and welcome to tonight's video where we're going to talk about two other postulates that we're going to be using to help us prove whether or not two triangles <coughs> are congruent. So we've already talked about the side 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 and side angle side postulates in our last video. We did some practice with those in class. Now we have two more that we're going to use and uh, these ones are called the angle side angle and angle angle side postulates. So first let's look at angle side angle. So uh, abbreviation is ASA and it says if two angles in their included side of one triangle are congruent to the two corresponding angles included side of another triangle then the two triangles are congruent. So remember from what we said yesterday included side means between. So the side that is between the two angles. So in our picture here we got triangle ABC and we got triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. Okay, these are both congruent. I just moved them so remember we have our congruence uh, transformations, a slide, a flipper, a rotation. So I just rotated it just so it looks a little bit different. But I used the primes to help us see where the corresponding parts are. So let's say I have triangle ABC and I have this triangle, uh, this angle here, B, and is congruent to B prime. And then I have C is congruent to C prime. And then the included side um, that we're talking about has to be between the two angles. So it's got to be between B and C, angle B and angle C. So this side here, BC, has to be congruent with B prime, C prime in order for us to be able to use the angle side angle postulate to say that these two triangles are congruent. So if I have this situation, I have an angle, the side, and the angle. So you can see they're all kind of like clumped together here um, where the side is between the two hash marks. So you'll see the hash mark or the arcs hash mark and then more arcs show you angle side angle. So here our congruent statement is that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime looking at the corresponding parts that are congruent. Okay so that's what a picture of angle side angle would look like. So let's move down to next postulate, angle, angle, side. Okay, and this says if two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to the two corresponding angles inside of another triangle, then those two triangles are congruent. So in this picture here, I have my two triangles, and again, I'll have angle X congruent to angle P, and then I'll have angle Y congruent to angle Q. So I have two angles that are congruent. The two corresponding angles are congruent. And now the side, um, I need a side that is not between them. It's non-included, right? So I cannot use side PQ in this case. I mean, if I did, it would be angle side angle. So what this is saying is if you have two angles and another side, let's say PR and XZ, if you have a situation like this, then you have angle, angle, side, and that's enough to tell you that these two triangles are congruent. Now, the other nice thing about this is um, if it was uh, maybe side RQ and YZ, that still qualifies, right? So angle, angle, side, that still works. So basically, if you have two angles and a side congruent, then that's enough to tell you that two triangles are congruent, right? So uh, it's either going to be angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle, which is our previous postulate. So those two, so if you have two angles and a side, it uh, really doesn't matter where that side is, it'll tell you that the, it's congruent. The only thing that matters is if where the side is as to which postulate you'll use, okay? So, so that's good. It's nice information to know, and we're going to use this information um, to prove 
that we have two angles or, or two triangles congruent. So we're going to have our four postulates, side, 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 angle, side, and angle, side, angle. Um, we're going to use those to prove whether or not two triangles are congruent and which ones we use will depend on what information we're given. So remember, so basically these are your three things. We got side, 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 angle, side. Uh, so those ones are heavy on the sides. And then over here we had angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. So those are heavy using the angles. So you're just going to have to look at your picture and decide which one of the four postulates you're going to want to prove or use to prove. Uh, what's going to help you with that will be this chart that's on page 237 from your textbook. So that's the rest of your homework because this is a short video. You're going to wa um, watch and take notes on the video and then also copy this chart in your textbook. And that's when I'm going to check in class tomorrow whether or not you have the chart from page 237. All right, so copy that down after you've, you're done taking notes on this. And I'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a good night.